made a list of some weird, wonderful, and terrifying animals that are helping us fight the most challenging diseases of our times. Can you guess which animal earned the number one spot? Stay tuned, and you'll have the answer shortly. Let's start with my all-time favorite little weirdo at number 10, the platypus, type 2 diabetes. This freaky little Australian mammal may have the answer to managing type 2 diabetes. Male platypuses produce venom to scare each other off during the mating season. This venom won't kill a human, but you would feel a lot of pain. Scientists have found that this venom is rich in a key metabolic hormone called exenatide. The human gut releases an inferior, venom-free version of the same hormone that stimulates your body to release insulin and reduce your blood sugar level. The hormone is called GLP-1, and it lasts only for a few minutes at a time in your gut. But the special brew of venom and GLP-1 in male platypuses resists degrading and lasts a lot longer. This could help people with type 2 diabetes. Number 9. Death Stalker Scorpion – Cancer Tumor Who would have thought that with a grim name like that, this tiny desert scorpion could help us fight one of the deadliest diseases? Found in the deserts of the Middle East and Northern Africa, the Death Stalker Scorpion's venom has an ingredient called chlorotoxin that binds to cancer cells. One of the biggest obstacles to curing cancer is that it's difficult to identify which cells are cancerous, especially in complex areas like the brain. Scientists now use the scorpion's venom to carry fluorescent dyes to cancer cells and highlight them, helping to detect cancer through scans. The venom can also carry some drugs to the cancerous cells, and the chlorotoxin in the venom blocks the spread of brain cancer. Barreling up to number 8, bears, Alzheimer's disease. During hibernation, bears lose 20 to 30 percent of their synapses, the connections between neurons in their brains. Amazingly, their synapses repair themselves after the bears wake up. You'll never see a bear come out of hibernation disoriented and forgetting where its food sources are. Humans start losing their synapses too, but it's during the first stage of dementia. By studying bears and mimicking mice's hibernation conditions in labs, scientists have confirmed the role of RBM3, a protein that helps bears repair their synapses. RBM3 is triggered in response to cold shock when a hibernating animal's body temperature drops. But humans don't hibernate, and sending us into cold shock is too dangerous. So scientists have learned to activate the gene that makes the RBM3 protein by introducing a non-infectious virus into patients with Alzheimer's disease. Scaling our way to number seven, zebrafish, obesity, and other metabolic disorders. Zebrafish live in the southeastern Himalayan region and have many genetic similarities to humans. In humans, obesity is a form of inflammation and a tendency to store carbohydrates. Humans have an unfortunate gene mutation that makes us overreact to a type of sialic acid found in red meats. We developed this mutation thousands of years ago when hunter-gatherers had to adapt to low and irregular food supplies. Zebrafish have the same gene, but it has not mutated because they never face this degree of food scarcity. Studying these cellular pathways in zebrafish can help us learn how to regulate blood sugar levels in humans. Worming its way into number six, maggots, cleaning wounds. Maggots crawling on our open wounds may not be such a terrible thing after all. At least not for people suffering from chronic wounds that last a long time and cause a lot of pain and discomfort. As infectious bacteria continue to mutate and become immune to antibiotics, this old medical treatment is making a comeback. Maggots eat dead tissue and secrete protein-digesting enzymes. This dissolves infected and dead tissue, speeding up the healing process. Research shows that using disinfected maggots to clean wounds before surgery is completely safe. It even reduces the chances of infection after surgery. Number 5. Australian Funnel Web Spider – Preventing Brain Damage 
This nightmarish Australian spider's venom is known as the most complex chemical arsenal in the world. And scientists have found a harmless protein in this venom that can reduce brain damage in rats up to eight hours after they've had a stroke. Human trials are underway. A timely nasal spray containing this protein could help first responders save stroke patients and spinal injury victims from cascading brain damage. Slithering up to number four, vipers, high blood pressure. A viper's venom disorients and immobilizes its prey by lowering its blood pressure. Then the reptile can easily swallow its prey whole. Peptide hormones in the venom constrict the prey's arteries and make it absorb more sodium, naturally raising its blood pressure. When human patients have chronic hypertension, these functions are in overdrive, leading to serious heart conditions. Scientists have identified several proteins in Brazilian pit viper venom that regulate peptide hormones and can help lower human blood pressure. The venom also prevents unnecessary blood clotting, which is extremely helpful for people with cardiovascular problems. And swimming right up to number three, sharks, Parkinson's disease. Dogfish shark tissue contains squalamine, which is being tested to control Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's is a debilitating disease caused by the progressive buildup of toxic protein clusters in the brain within cell structures called lipid vesicles. People with Parkinson's disease experience mobility and balance issues, tremors, and stiffness in their limbs. Over time, the protein clusters block all the cell's functions. Squalamine binds with the lipid vesicles and blocks the buildup of this protein among mice. Scientists are hopeful that human trials will be successful too. And at number two, naked mole rat, cancer. This burrowing Eastern African rat is not much of a looker, but it lives up to seven times longer than the average rodent and is immune to cancer. Its secret lies in hyaluronin, or HA, which all mammals have, and naked mole rats have a lot of it. Their HA molecules are five times larger than the HA in humans, and they're an extremely sensitive signaling mechanism that stops uncontrollable cell division, a major feature of cancer. HA signaling also protects your DNA against mutations. Since human HA is about 99% similar to the naked mole rat's HA, it gives scientists hope that the rat's HA could cure cancer in humans. And striding right up to number one, ostrich, COVID-19. It's helping to solve the biggest health crisis we faced in a long time, COVID-19. All animals pass their acquired immunity down to their offspring. Mammals pass their antibodies to their fetuses through their placentas, and birds pass antibodies through their bloodstreams to their eggs. The antibodies in bird eggs can be extracted, distilled, and safely administered to humans. Scientists have managed to trigger COVID-19 antibodies in ostriches by injecting them with a dead, non-infectious sample of the virus. The ostrich antibodies recognize the COVID-19 spike proteins and neutralize them. One large ostrich egg makes about 400 antibodies. Scientists are working to make nasal sprays, injections, and skin patches to deliver these antibodies to humans. And that's not all. Researchers have found that ostrich antibodies block the Delta variant of COVID-19. Boom, ostrich mic drop. Want to learn more? Check out our other video about how ostrich antibodies stop the Delta variant. Helping to cure diseases and injuries? That's what these animals do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.